Hi, this is Chadwick from Coffee Shopped, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up my iPad app Patch Bass, which can create, edit, and manage sounds for a range of different hardware synthesizers. So first I'm going to open up the app. Here you see the Patch Bass home screen. As you can see, at first there aren't any editors shown. They don't show up until we add them. But before we add an editor, I want to point out that cloud icon in the top left. That button turns on and off iCloud syncing for patch base. I really recommend that you turn iCloud syncing on. When you do that, all of your patch files will be stored in your iCloud account, which means that even if you delete the app or if you move to another iPad, your files are still going to be safe. Uh, it also makes importing and exporting files really easy. When the icon is filled in, like you see here, that means iCloud is turned on. If it's not filled in, then your files are only being stored on your iPad, and if you delete the app or something happens to your iPad, uh, you'll be deleting your patches as well. So I'd, I'd turn that on. Okay, so to add our first editor, we'll just tap anywhere inside the huge Add Editor button that you see in the middle of the screen here. That brings up a list of all the different synths that Patch Base supports. Right now, about 40 or so synths are supported. Uh, for today's intro, I'm going to be setting up the Yamaha TX802, which is kind of like eight Yamaha DX7s in a rack synth. But so I, I just select the TX802 here and tap the add button and the TX802 shows up on my home screen. Now I'll just tap on the TX802 and patch base will load the editor. Okay, so what you see here is the patch editor for the TX802. This is the main area where you can edit all of the voice parameters for the synth. Uh, so this is where you would make your sounds, but before you can really use it, you have to get your MIDI settings in order. So I'll tap the MIDI settings button in the top left to bring those up. So first here you see your MIDI inputs, which is how MIDI gets into patch base, and then your outputs, which is what patch base uses to send MIDI out to your synth. For today's demo, I'll be using Wi-Fi MIDI to connect to the synth, but if I had a MIDI interface connected to the iPad, that would show up here in this list of inputs and outputs. Below outputs, you see network MIDI connections. Since today I'll be connecting to the TX802 via my laptop, I first need to turn on the network MIDI connection between my iPad and my laptop. So I'll just tap the switch next to the coffee shop laptop. Uh, words. <laughs> and uh, now there's a MIDI link between my iPad and my laptop. Next, to tell Patch Base to use that connection, I'll turn on Network Session 1, which is the name of the MIDI connection, for both input and output. For using this kind of setup uh, with a computer between the iPad and the synth, there's also a setup step you have to do on the computer as well. I have an article that goes into detail on that that I will link to below, but for today I just want you to see the basics of the setup inside Patch Base. Now that we're connected and our MIDI ins and outs are selected, we just tap done to go back to the editor. Alright, so the final step in your MIDI setup is going to be specific to the synth that you're using. Most synthesizers will have a setting for which MIDI channel they're listening to, or a device ID. It depends on the synth. Uh, whatever that setting is on your synth, it needs to match in patch base. So here I'll open the editor tabs and go over to the global section, which is where I can change that setting. The TX802 that we're setting up today has a device ID setting, and I know that my TX802 is set to device ID 1, so here I'm just making sure that the editor is also set to device ID 1. Now all that's left to do is see if it works. A good way to test that out is to go back to the patch editor and try fetching a patch, which means patch base loads the current patch settings from your synth into the app. So I just tap the fetch button in the top right here, and now you see that all of the parameter controls in patch base have updated to show the current sound in my TX802. The name is updated as well. You can see this, this sound is called mellow horn. 
I can also open up the in-app keyboard and try playing a couple of notes. And now I know that my setup is all good. One last thing, let me show you what will happen if your setup isn't working. I'll go into my MIDI settings and turn off my input and output so that the app won't work anymore. Now, if I try fetching a patch, I'll get this progress bar screen showing that the app is still waiting for MIDI data from the synth. If you see that screen and no progress happening, then chances are there's a problem with your MIDI setup and you need to change your settings somewhere. Sometimes that can be your MIDI channels wrong or your MIDI connection wasn't set up properly. Now I'll turn my input and output back on to make things work again. And uh, from here, any changes you make to parameters should be instantly reflected on your synth. Here I'll tap the init button in the top right and uh, play a couple notes. And you can hear that now I have a very plain sort of blank slate sound. This is, this is what you would do if you want to really start from scratch in designing a sound. So there you have the basics of how to get patch bass working. This is definitely the most boring part of using the app, uh, but it's also necessary and you should only have to do it once. In my next videos, I'll get more into how you can actually create and edit sounds, uh, as well as organizing your sound banks and all of that more fun stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching.